And we are live Wednesday night with those guys. And Wednesday night with those guys is sponsored by those, those guys. guys. <laughs> <laughs> good night. Oh, good, good evening. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to good Wednesday night. night. Are you ready to go <laughs> already? <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Wednesday night with those guys. Tonight, we got a really big show tonight. Uh, I believe we got a really big show tonight. Um, Lawrence, how's your Wednesday been going? It's going okay. I mean, I'm, I'm doing the stream from my phone because okay. we okay. are once again changing studios and, and right. going through the glitches of changing studios. You know how that is. Uh huh. Yeah. So that's about uh, it. Other than that, I'm good. What about you? Well, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I've been uh, doing a few things. You know, we've been working on a few things and um working on a few things man i'm um, tired but it's a good tired but um it's uh <laughs> yeah well hopefully it pays off but pays off really it's gonna much. pay off i'm not doing this shit for nothing <laughs> <laughs> yeah no but um we we got a few things tonight we got um you know uh you know we got Stephen coming to, it up to hang out with us a little bit, you know, talk the flyby you know, guys. Yeah, for Stephen from the flyby guys. And uh, hey, Corey, what's up, man? We uh, he's gonna talk a little bit about uh, you know, those uh, drone light shows. And I know everybody likes those drone light shows, but um, uh, I got a little bad news tonight. Um, nothing serious. Um, Billy contacted me and he's not gonna be able to join us tonight. Uh, he's going to be catching a flight and he don't think he's going to be able to make it so um he probably won't be in with us tonight so we're going to have steven and we will have ryan latourette on with us tonight to talk about what's what's going on we all know about what happened in florida and we're going to see what what if uh what's going on i think mississippi might be following suit so we're going we're to mm -hmm. see what's going on we got and, and we're going to, um, he's going to brush us up on some of the things that we've talked about in the past here, uh, a couple other cases that have been, uh, that are in the works. Right. So, um, you know, a few things that we wanted to talk about before Stephen uh, comes on to hang out with us was that, um, uh, you know, I guess everybody knows because everybody's been talking about the SDKs and everything like that for mm -hmm. the, uh, for the uh the, the hey, Corey. And I know and I know Steven had, had did a video on that uh, and uh and the SDKs I guess is I guess a lot of guys would like to you know play around with those uh features on like uh, something like a, a software like Leechy because mm -hmm. um honestly I you know I I with the more up to date, sophisticated stuff that DJI has. I, I did not. I haven't used Leechy. I used Leechy twice when I had the uh, the Mavic, not the, Mavic, the, the the Phantom Three. And okay. I, I haven't used Leechy since, but I paid for the for the app, and it was okay. Uh, now, and I and I watch Ubit use it all the time, and the I wish the DJI app actually was. So, uh, you know, intuitive like this one is, and, and it, it's constantly talking to you. Like how when we fly, we, we constantly speak to each other about what's happening in the mission in itself. Yes. It does yes. the same thing on, on, on with Leechy. Uh, that was one of the features that I liked about it. But, uh, you know, we've now also seen, uh, what is it? The, uh, this uh was it uh more of these uh what was it the leaks and stuff like that of this of the uh leak pictures for this mavic uh three pro yes <laughs> yes and unfortunately because and, like and, i mentioned yeah my studio is being changed around i cannot show the pictures but we everybody saw the link on twitter uh -huh. this morning that was was released i'm i'm uh -huh. sure yeah, yeah, yeah. You um, were you I able? I could probably to, put the link. Were to you the able Twitter. to get back into the um? Were you able to get back in, Lars? No. Oh, okay. No, no, definitely not. Um, we are experiencing technical difficulties here. <laughs> <laughs> Hard body, but but we're we're hanging in there. 
No, know, but um, you had told me um something about a site. Yeah, it was uh, a not uh, was a drone. Is that Angie? Angie, I can't see the chat because I'm in in different windows. Yes, yes, oh. yes, yes. There is a site that Ooh. you can go to. Hold on, I have to pull up my email to to get to the link. Okay, dude, my mouth. I'm having everything go wrong. My mouse is like crawling across the screen. Uh-huh. I'm scraping it like like back and forth. Like I don't but know, you, man. But you are Amazing. able. You, but you are able to get into your, your into the computer. Yes, I am. I do have. Oh. A, I am on the computer now. But right. that link, I'm going to put the link in the chat because I can't pull uh-huh. it up because I'm not in um, Zoom. Yeah through the computer that's my technical difficulty guys so i won't be able to show any videos or anything but i can put the links there's just there's steven in the room russell glarum what's up everybody angie how are you but this is the link that we're talking about and um it was released online (laughs) i'm putting it in the chat now everybody of the uh mavic 3 pro which mm-hmm. happens to be on sale at Vertical Drones for three thousand six hundred and something dollars. Now that's now 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 that and Vertical Drones is here in, in upstate New York. Now I want to ask you that price that you got there. That mm-hmm. price came from off of their site. Well, from what I understand, because um, from what I understand. Uh huh. Um, that the source who gave this link, okay, uh-huh. had it quoted f- from this particular store. If you guys clicked on the link, three thousand six hundred and twenty-eight dollars. Um, yeah, yeah, with the yeah. RC Pro controller. With the RC Pro controller, yes. Three not the RC, not the RC. Twenty-eight. Yes, yes. Okay. Now on the page, it it shows DJI mm-hmm. Mavic Three Pro with DJI. DJI RC Pro Controller, right, and it says, right. put me on a waiting list. So I'm assuming if you're going to be put on a waiting list, then, right, then right. you would see the price. So I don't want you to say, oh, he gave us a link, but we don't see the price on here. Um, well, you're not going to see the price till you give up your information and sell your soul. Well, honestly, when, <laughs> I, went, when, I, when I went in, and you, I, it just shows that you can... Go and give them your information. To mm-hmm. Create an account, and uh, well, somehow it was put it in your from, cart. Right. Somehow it was leaked that this site had them for that particular price. Right. Hey, Fly Guy Merle, Michael Blades, what's up, everyone? Well, I'm just saying that, that that's what happened when I when I went to it and put in their uh, yeah, you know, for it. So, okay. Uh, I mean, um. Mm-hmm. I've I've seen where it says from from a a news source mm-hmm. that you know it's funny I don't need this microphone here. Wait a minute, yeah, I don't need this microphone here. So let me mute that mic because we're going through the headset. Are you kidding oh. me? Good joke. <laughs> twenty eight hundred. Jim's droning says twenty eight hundred. Well, I guess it could come with that tax. Jim's drone says uh, twenty eight hundred in in the chat there. I added myself to the waiting list, Russell Glurm. What? And if you, if you don't mind me asking, what are they asking? Are they asking the twenty six plus tax? I get it's here in New York. Guesstimate the tax would be. Hey Jody, what's up? You said thirty six. What's up, Jody? You said thirty six. No, twenty six. Oh no, thirty six. No, price, it is thirty six. Three thousand six hundred. Right. Thirty six. Yeah. Yes, three thousand six hundred. Okay. Pro. Yes, with the RC Pro. Jim's droning says twenty eight hundred. You think that could be the price of it with the regular RC? I don't know because I, the I, RC I mean, Pro is a thousand dollars in itself. Hold on. Well, yeah. Well, okay. 1, so eleven hundred. <laughs> <laughs> right, eleven hundred dollars. So take eleven hundred dollars from that thirty six, and maybe you'll have the price, give or take, around there. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know either. All we know is that I'll wait for it leaks to come out. I don't. I don't. Mm-hmm. If I, if I, I mean, if I was to buy it, I don't need it with uh, another controller. I, right. I have, right. I have, I have you a, have an RC Pro. 
I have the RC Pro, I have the RC, I have the smart controller, I have the regular controllers. Uh, I'm telling them. Then you have house. about 15 N1 controllers. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> build a house with controllers. Yeah, I believe it. Between that and the boxes, yeah, you could probably <laughs> be quite warm, even have a even have a theater in the house. The, the boxes for <laughs> insulation around. The oh, see, see, see. He controls. he said he didn't get a price yet. He just created the account on the website. Right. And Jim's droning said it'll be over three thousand Canadian for sure. Yes, definitely, definitely. Well, I, I agree you, with you, Jim's. Well, well, the price that you quoted is the price that's on Drone Excel. So, so um, whoever was throwing around that price, that's probably where they found the price from. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and that and that link that for the um, click that like button, guys, if you haven't already, please. That link is the same link like the, the one on Drone Excel. So right, I don't know. Right. Well, I, it is what it is. Um, okay. on to so I, I say Drone Excel, but um, that was the one that put that out there because I saw the article with, with them. It was, um, yeah, I, I had seen it on there as well. I was just, a ma matrix space. It was announcing that a cell phone size um radar, Lawrence. You believe? Yes, that? and I'm once again I'm pissed because I cannot <laughs> show you the picture. Yeah, they got a cell phone. So well, it it's well. But here's the link. It's it's supposedly <laughs> it's it's cost Damn. effective. Right, they say it's cost effective and it's uh, it it's it, it, it it's the shit, Lawrence. Supposedly, so um, they say it, it's the shit. It, they say it yeah, from the picture I it have tracks, here. It uh, monitoring and um, what were you saying? Go ahead, go ahead. Well, it's it's basically for people who are doing like tracking and monitoring and um and inspections and stuff like that. That's what they they basically said, and it's less than a pound. It's a um, it's a, it's a radar basically, and it's able to see um, everything around you that transmits. In, well, that's in the funny, air. Funny, funny, not only in the air but on the ground as well, and yeah. be able to judge the distance and space, and even when it's move and those objects are moving. Yes, yes, and it has logistics on those objects as well. Um, this next link here. So you oh, know, well, I don't know stuff, if this is a this is a JPEG, but I don't know if you guys in the chat can see what I'm showing through these links here. Oh lord! But how? Um, I click open a new tab, and they should Show be able to click how. on it or copy it and and okay. pull it up in a browser and see. But okay. from what you're talking about, mm -hmm. it tracks everything on the ground, mm -hmm. in the air. Mm -hmm. um it even recognizes birds right and i guess that would be great for usage in like say a, a drone and something like this to be implemented into the drone because it would be needed to be able to see and it's if we you, talked about this before situational awareness mm -hmm. that's necessary for beyond visual line of sight flight right now if it's it's put it this way with that kind of tracking, you could create a UTM, an unmanned traffic management system. Well, no, I'm saying to you, this is something that is designed for saying being on, a, say, like a, on a drone. In a yes, drone. yeah, I know. And, and used to be able to. It's smaller. To, it, it's the size of a um, cell phone. Track everything, monitor everything <laughs> and it's around it, so you won't you won't run into anything. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I get it. You would right. link that up with obstacle avoidance, of course. Yes. I'm sure well, there's a way you can connect it. It is obstacle know? avoidance. Right, because you can see everything. <laughs> <laughs> because you can see everything. That is that is very, very true. All right. That would be nice. But, you know, we um, like I said, we have Stephen coming on tonight. Well, congratulations. First, I want to hold on. I want to congratulate you on show number 200 because it is a milestone when you hit those 100. triple digits, nonetheless, 200. You know, 200. so shout out to you and congratulations on, on hitting your 200th live stream. Then okay. keep it going, man. Keep it going. Well, we got Stephen coming on here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Stephen oh. from the Flyby Guys. 
Yeah, Stephen. Welcome, Stephen. Oh. Stephen from the Fly Guys. Um, Fly by hello, guys. Hello. All hello. the way hey. from the from the French Alps, Steve. Stephen. Yeah, I'm I'm in the French Alps. <laughs> can you can you can you hear me? Can you see yes. me? Because yes, we can, uh, I can I'm see you this, well. Yes. Excellent. We can excellent. Hear you. excellent. We can and, see. Uh, good. Excellent. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm live. Uh oh, uh oh, right uh oh, from the French Alps. I... Uh oh, he's killed. Oh. About two hours ago. Two... Okay, so, have you st- have everything, you everything, everything that you just said, mm-hmm. you kind of max headroomed in and out. Uh oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. Is it okay now? It's right. perfectly fine. Good. Okay. 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 It just could be. I'm using. I'm actually using my phone as a hotspot because uh, the, the the internet's not great. So it could be, could be because of that. Okay. So, um, well, welcome, welcome all the way from France, man. Yes, thank welcome, you. Stephen. Thank you, and uh, and can and uh, and also and also congratulations on your 200th show. Thank you for the invitation. I couldn't thank say you. no. Thank no you. matter where I am in the world. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? We appreciate you that for that because you've been mm-hmm. in Singapore, Indonesia, all, all over the um, place, Dubai, yeah. and and you take mm-hmm. the time out to stop by and say hello and check out our live stream. And for mm-hmm. those of you who don't know who Stephen is, uh-huh. he's the motherfucking man. <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> because he has the ultimate drone job. If you can go into without what? going into what you well, do, Stephen. Go Wait, ahead. Hold on a second, Stephen. The last time we spoke, we when I guess before you were you went away, we you were going to was Qatar. You were going to. Yeah, was the last. Yeah, that was the last time. Yeah, that was the last. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So, yeah, I, I mean, you know, I mean, a lot of what we do is it's a long time. Is you know we do what traveling. You know, um, I'm, we are now the internet connection is a little bad. We uh, are, we, some, we're do missing some you. work things be the office. The June late show season has. Am I back again? It's just probably. Yeah. You know what happened? Coming in and out, know. So, yeah, you're going in and out when I'll you try are, to, when you're trying to be. Maybe if I switch to Wi Fi, go, 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 go for it. Go for it. Go for it. We're here. I'm gonna wow. for Wi Fi. Just give me give me one second. I'm sure, sure. We're here. We're just waiting. Anyway, to- welcome to the 200th live stream of yeah. Wednesday nights with those guys. We you know had a, a nice intro coming up. We had a few things going on, but unfortunately, because I'm in between studios, I'm actually on the PC, right but the live Javits on my Center. phone instead. Um, I like go to the Javits Center. I just think that it's odd you can't <laughs> connect to Zoom, but that yeah, Zoom is kind of messing up out there. DJ Mavic Pro, yes, 3,628. Yes, that's what they claim. Yeah, that's the price. It could be be within a few hundred. You got to give or take. Oh, it's much more solid. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. Nope. Am I here? Yeah, you're there. We can hear you now. Uh, Maybe not. Okay. Okay. He's going to go out and come back. All right. But anyway, y'all need to feed them squirrels powering your internet. <laughs> That's over in France, man. <laughs> He's way over. <laughs> What's up, Draymond? What's Steve. up, Scott? He, um, Stephen is actually um, all the way in France. He's in France and with, he, he's working on, I guess, uh, hotel internet. Okay. He, right. A hotel internet is not so hot and he's trying to use his hotspot. So, so he's, he will he's be coming back, back in, in in a few seconds here. He'll he'll be Let's back try this. Okay, there we are. Okay, I'm back now. I'm back now. Sorry, guys. Sorry. All right. No, Very... don't worry about it. That's okay. French Alps. Oh, French Alps. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, 
for we were we had mentioned for those of you who didn't know the kind of work that Stephen does. You know, yeah, I actually guys. have a link here. I wanted to show the video yeah. while you Are were you talking. Me? Uh -huh. what, we can what, hear you. We can hear you. Yes. Yes. I can wanted to show the video. I okay, think ahead, he, well, I had wanted to show the video while he was talking, but because the studio on this end is uh, screwing up as well, I don't think it's, I think it's my computer. My computer might be getting ready to die. But that link right there is what Stephen does okay. for right. a living. This, right. So I'm now on the phone because okay. I've got a 4G signal here. So it should be a lot okay. better. So forgive my. That should be me now. It should okay. be better. There you go. You're fine. There we there go. Go. I'm, it should be a lot better now. Okay. I'm on the phone itself. Okay. So, yeah. Sorry, okay. Guys. Anyway. Anyway. Listen. Congratulations on the 200th show. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Really wanted. To... <laughs> what, did you, what did you say that? Hello to <laughs> everyone in the chat. Lawrence, it's good to see you again. Um, yes, I know man. we've been talking o over the past week or so. Yes. Uh, you guys have been doing something, something, uh, something. You, you know, before we start talking about me. You've been doing something new, and I think that's great. And I've been following what you've been doing, and it's very cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We, we appreciate it. Um, Herman said something last year that didn't make sense, of course, last year, but he said mm. we're grinding now for next year. Yeah. And, that's, and, and now, that's all you do. And now next year is here, and we're, we're trying to do a little something. That's all. But thank yeah. you very yeah. much. We appreciate you, Stephen. Yeah, now, getting. Um, go ahead. No, no, no. I was just go thinking. Ahead. Stephen, no, you you had asked Stephen, uh, uh, you know, like what was it that, you know, he does all, you know, with the uh, all with the flyby guys do. Yes, yes, yes. Now that we have a clean connection, because I, I you know don't mind he's, briefly. He's internationally no, no, no. traveled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we, we we are a drone mm -hmm. service provider and we provide drone services, mm -hmm. which when we started the company, which was about five years ago, um, we wanted to concentrate on the industry side, more the industrial side. So really looking at technology that could help many sectors. And right. one thing we wanted to focus on was the uh, telecom side. So we wanted to focus on the telecom side because that's somewhere where we know we could add a lot of value by using artificial intelligence through software in order to deliver good quality data and value uh, for the inspections and also doing uh, feasibility studies and whatnot. So that's what right. we have been doing. Uh, uh, and, and, and right now uh, we have 10 pilots, or so one one of of the pilots actually picked me up in Geneva today, Phil, Phil Noble, who's probably watching. He's, you know, I think he, okay. he might be watching now. Uh, he's in one of the hotel rooms downstairs. Uh, Phil Noble, thank you for picking me up today. He picked me up from Geneva. Uh, he's <laughs> one of our pilots and, and also does drone light shows as well. And, he, okay. and, he's, an, and he's an amazing FPV pilot as well, which, which, uh, which is something that he loves. So he's up here helping us with this show that we're doing. But... We, but we do, uh, you know, we have uh, quite a few contracts with um, telecom companies where we are providing uh, data for them. So we have pilots that are that are flying all over Europe for that, as well as we also do drone light shows. So we were contacted by Intel uh, two thousand and when. 2020 and they wanted okay. us to help them with their operations because of what was happening in the world at that point with COVID so right. we were helping them uh, so we were doing the operations and, and it turned out to be something that we were actually very good at rather than just I would them say COVID. damn good so, rather so good. you were doing you were doing uh, light shows before uh, and that type of work before Intel no Oh, okay. I thought I thought that's what um you were but, doing. But what what we had been doing is we had mm. been doing a uh, large fleet management. So we had been doing right. large projects, which allowed us to uh, have good visibility on how to manage these projects. Because when you when you're managing such a large project as mm. as these Intel shows are, for example, they're, they're huge right. projects. They take lots of planning. 
lots of execution. Uh, you need to be really diligent. You need to be on the ball. You know, uh, it's it's hard work. It's long hours. It's hard work. <laughs> the drone industry is difficult. <laughs> don't let anyone don't don't let anyone fool you otherwise. It's tough. Uh, um, you know, I, I you know, and 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 I think that this you know, yeah. I think that some people do tend to think that you know, we have a mini three. You know, I've got one here. You know, so let's go okay. mini three. You know, someone someone's got a mini three. You know. Uh-huh. It's really easy to fly, so for I can do this for a job. Right. The reality is very, very different. The reality is very different. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not, it's not what you think, you know. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. The drone industry is tough. Well, you know, but you, but you I, know I, that. I, I laugh because yeah, yeah. I, I laugh because of the the. Um, the conversation I saw on 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 uh, was a Twitter with, with that with, with that whole mm. thing about with the guy and the, and the whole Joan uh, not not being that's not work and it was it was it was a whole thing back and forth and I, I thought that was funny but um between that and and the amount of times I've been against the ropes and got caught with a right hand and a, and a left and I just didn't know how to survive against it in the business mm. in, in this this thing. And learning, and still learning, and and I'm still as a baby, baby, baby. Yeah, yeah. but you and, you learn along the way, and and uh, you know, uh, and, and of course, you know, you know, the drone community is there to help each other. However, mm-hmm. you will experience things that we won't experience. You will experience things that are unique for you, based on right. your geography, based on the work that you're doing, based on just your day, based on your own temperament and your personality and stuff, you know. So those are things which do make a difference. Um, yeah, it's... It is, a, it, is, it is an experience. If you remember a, a little while back, we, we had asked you and said, what do we do here? What do we do there? What do we do there? And you was like, oh, you'll, you'll find out. <laughs> you'll yeah. find out. Yeah. You know, yeah. you, you'll make it. And, and you're right. It, you'll make a lot of mistakes on the way, and if you don't make mistakes, you're not learning. Yeah, yeah. Right and as, about as, as long as you make the, I mean, as long as you learn from those mistakes, right? Those right. mistakes are valuable. Those 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 mistakes are valuable, and we will always make mistakes. As long as as long as those mistakes don't harm anyone, that's fine. <laughs> that is absolutely true. Fine, you know, true, uh, true. You I, know, I agree with you. Yeah, you're right. Well. Well, Stephen, you're over in France, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, yeah. I'm only I'm here in America, and um, there's no real big holiday coming up um, here. So, what's going on in France? Well, we're doing our drone night show. I know. <laughs> I, I know. What's the occasion? Actually, or do they just do them just to do them? Do you want to know Prince. something? Do, do, you, do, do, you, do you want to know something? I do not huh. know what the occasion is. I have no clue what the occasion is. Uh, well, you all know, I know is... Okay. It, it, you know, it gets to the point that I've done so many of these shows that it doesn't matter because we turn up, we, we you know, we meet the client, Mm-hmm. You know, we we know what we have to do. We understand the airspace. We you know we understand you know what we do with an O time or whatever. Right. Uh, we have all the permissions in place. Everything is fine. Whatever whatever the show is, you do what you have to do. The, we do what you have to do, and uh, I have a feeling because it's the end of season here. Uh-huh. Because this is the end. Uh-huh. Of, actually, Phil 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 one of one of our pilots who is working in this or, or has been working in this area a lot. He actually lives in this area as well. Uh, okay. he, he, he says that it's probably an end of season party for the staff of a certain place. So that, that's, so that's what it could be, which would make sense. Wow. You know, but it's, it's, I mean, I can't see very much because it's dark here, but I expect mm. to wake up in the morning and, see the beautiful Alps outside my balcony here. So let's see when I wake up in the morning. Okay. You know what's funny? Uh, we, we've had end of the year parties here. They just brought in food. <laughs> You're in the wrong country then. You should, you should come to the French Alps, apparently, you know. Yeah, well, I yeah. should come to the French Alps. Yeah. We're actually in the wrong, we're actually in the wrong place. I believe that. 
I do believe if I was living in another part of the world, I would probably be traveling at least half as much as you because your frequent flyer hours should have you almost owned about almost ready to buy a house by now and adding up those frequent flyer points. Well, at least everyone, free trip. right? A, a free trip. Yeah, hell, your picture should be on a couple of those planes. The flyby guys. Yeah, yeah. You don't think so? Yeah, How much traveling I, do you do in a year? How much traveling do you do in a year? This passport Just looks off like the top Bible. of your head. Huh? <laughs> okay, okay. I, looks I, like I, Bible. I was counting. Uh, I, you know, when when I was finishing in Doha last. Mm last year um, mm -hmm. in December and then I went to do a show in Amsterdam so we've done a show in Amsterdam for New Year so but it, it turned out to be it was like the 2nd of January because of the weather in Amsterdam in New Year uh, so when I got home on the 3rd of January that was me home and I was home for a month I was home for a whole month in right. from January to February mm -hmm. That was the first time I was home for a whole month in over a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because okay. for, for, for a year and a half, you know, that whole year and a half before, I was traveling every month. I was traveling every second week or something. So I'd, I, I'd, I had never spent a, you know, you know, a whole month at home, you know. So it was, it was, it's quite, it's very, it's, it's tough physically, it's tough mm -hmm. mentally. You know, uh, it took me until end of January to actually feel myself again, to actually feel like I was back to normal. You know, okay, right? Because you know, it was, it was, it was literally uh, what I found Doha when I was doing the the shows in Qatar for the World Cup. That right. was really tough. It was, it was. Yeah, it was I know you were there for a minute. I was there for I was there for two months. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and I, I didn't have a single night off. I didn't have a single day off. Was working every wow. day. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm I'm quite sure it's well worth it because if it wasn't, you wouldn't keep going back. <laughs> I don't, don't go back there. I don't know. No, no but it, I mean was, no, but what I mean going back, what I mean by going so, back is you 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 so, come home, you stay for a little while, and you're back out again. So apparently really there's something that drives you to it. What is that? Chair chair fell fell apart? Oh no. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> sorry, man. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's all right. I guess it, it, I'm, I'm not. I'm not in the Hilton. You can tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, well. Uh... You know what? The night is that night, huh? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, it is. Everything's. We have, everything that will go mm -hmm. wrong is going wrong. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's just like tonight is that night. Zoom is messing up for Lawrence my Lawrence had end. issues. I had the problem. Lawrence had to send you the link. I had a problem over here. And <laughs> you came in, had the internet. Now, now, now that everything is good, the chair right, is like, Now that you have a broken chair, chair, chair. Let me get them. <laughs> right. Well, I oh, hope yeah, everyone's got all the bugs out and everything. Every Everybody, okay, is everybody in the chat good? Your chair's fine, your internet's fine. Everybody, right. Everybody, okay. Uh, Barkley says cool. just add a, just have a, add a little glue. <laughs> a little I glue? I don't have any glue. I don't, I oh. don't have any glue. Don't so, any Stephen, glue. I've seen some yeah. of these, these light shows, and I've yeah. seen some of the ones that you've done. Um, which one was the, the biggest that you've ever done? Biggest uh, done was in Taiwan, fifteen hundred. Yeah, fifteen hundred. Uh, huge, huge. huge. I, I mean, uh, it was a, it was a, I mean, it took about, it took us about a week to prepare for that. Okay, to really, get, to get everything right. Uh, but once we had everything up and running, mm -hmm. you know, you know. It looked amazing, you know, but and then and then we had crowds of about two hundred and fifty thousand every night. So okay, it was about twelve shows. We had about one and a half million people come to see those shows. It was incredible, okay. it really. And, really and it's amazing. the same show every night. It was yeah, it was, it was the same show every night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I'd like to say 
however these shows go on, I know there's a lot behind it. Is there a particular type of drone that you use? I mean, I know these drones are um these drones are GPS guided. I know these drones can all sense each other and, and things like that. What what makes a drone for a light show? Other than having the lights on the bottom. You, you understand what I'm asking? <laughs> Yeah, yes. yeah, it's 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 not something it's not something that you can just literally uh, take a drone and then just bake it into right. a, you know a light show drone. Right, right. However, we we work with two companies. Mm. So we work okay. First of all, we work with Intel. They were you know they were the biggest. You know, um, you know Intel sold <laughs> their system, and it was bought by Kimball Musk, brother of Elon Musk. Uh, and he created Nova Sky Stories. Yes, I, I we continued. That. Yeah, okay, we continued working with them, and we are there with them now. So we are we are working with them. So okay, it's all okay. Guys and Nova Sky Stories. Great. All right. So we've so we've been working with them, um, and we will continue. We've got shows lined up till the end of June with them. So I've got. Two, three shows per month now, up up until the end of June at least. Anyway, so and probably well, more as well. So, well, what I'm what I'm also asking is, well, I I'm sure, but since you've been doing this, these drone light shows, have you seen <coughs> the technology change for the better? I mean, what size are these drones? What's the battery capacity? What's the time length that you have in the air with these drones? Mm-hmm. How long is it show? Now I know you program and program for eight to twelve hours, and then just, that's a ten-minute show. It it depends on it depends on the customer. It it depends on the drone that you're using. Now this drone that we are using here will give us a flight time of about eleven minutes, right? And okay. that's launch and landing as well. So eleven minutes. We will also be working with. Uh, the French company Dronesos. So they're the uh, so those that's that's the company we went to that we went to Qatar with. Mm-hmm. They right. are, they are using the they are using the pad at Bebop. So okay. they've actually taken the pad at Bebop, they've ripped off the camera, and they've put <laughs> on a light in front of it, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and which is actually actually pretty good. So um, so we've been also using that. Now, this is very different from what we use with Nova now, mm-hmm. right? Or the former Intel. Uh, you know, they're two different, drones, and the whole system's completely different as well. So, but now we've got experience from two systems and doing large amounts, long amounts of shows with, with uh, two systems. So it gives us a much, a much larger footprint and what on, on what we're doing, and we understand. You know the wind resistance and, and 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 also time for the show because they're too you know you know it's a bit longer for each you know as well so mm-hmm. um but yeah it, it 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 does depend you know it depends on the show you've asked how i've seen it change it's you know you know you can have large shows and they're spectacular you know obviously you know uh, however i don't know if you if you've seen what what Johnny Sauce done a couple of weeks ago? They they were in Dubai for the mm-hmm. Dubai World Cup, which was the, the horse racing, and they were in, and they were flying nineteen hundred and one drones. Mm-hmm. One one drone was actually a tracker, so they so because it was for the for the local authority to actually track the drones. Uh, but they okay. were flying with two two manned aviation, two manned aviation. So there were so they had two planes. Flying around show, wow! Which was spectacular. It was spectacular. It was one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. Now, that is where it's going. So it's all about the show and how you know they can create that sense of spectacular. So it's not just the, so. So they actually blended manned and unmanned aviation right, basically, together. Right, yeah, combining the two. Which which the. Coordinating I, I, the guessing, actual two flights. Yeah. I'm guessing that was never done before. I never done before. I never was wondering before. because I'd never this, heard of anything. I do never. know. I've never I, heard of it either. But uh, this I do like know on helicopters. Right, right. I mm. do know where I've seen light shows where they've had helicopters encircle a perimeter. You know, of of the light show yeah, for yeah, security yeah. reasons. But 
but to actually combine manned aircraft with the drone oh, light absolutely. show lets you know and a tracker excuse me lets you know pretty much the direction we're headed as far as entertainment because they're even considering eliminating fireworks and using these drone light shows yeah steven you so, yeah, mentioned, well you mentioned so, the, the 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 bebop and i and i was curious about that because is it just using its its body or is it using its technology or it's just overriding or they put all their own thing to it and <laughs> it's 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 using the hardware, but but Johnny Sauce have their own software which they've incorporated to control. So they have their own control software. Um, okay. And so yeah, so it, that's, so it, that is basically what uh, they're doing. I have a question from Corey Mano in the chat. He goes, "What costs more, the drone show or fireworks show?" Um, I think actually fireworks cost more. Fireworks cost a lot more. Probably because because, because of all of the manpower needed and then the control factors no, you have no, to no, add no, in no, fire no, department. No, 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 no. It's it's the amount of gunpowder as well. Yeah, the gunpowder, so, yeah, it's the amount, yeah. It's the amount of gunpowder. So I mean, when you look at, I mean, I mean, let's let's just say, let's just take for example Dubai. Okay, so let's mm -hmm. take one place for example. So if you're going to have fireworks in Dubai, you need to have it spectacular. It has to be big, right? right. Because they're having these kind of things all the time. So if you want to be better than the last one, you 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 have to be spending up towards ten million dollars just for a five minute firework display. Right. And, and I've been in Dubai, I've been in Dubai a new year when they've had these fireworks, and they are unbelievable. I mean, you think the world is on fire. Where, oh, really? You know, I mean, you're, I, I mean, your whole visual, yeah. uh -huh. your whole visual horizon is basically fireworks, and they're happening. It's, it's just unbelievable. Now, that costs millions and millions and millions, right? Now, a drone light show costs way less than that. <laughs> way, way less than that. And you have, I can imagine. You have and then control. you can reuse the drone. Yes. True. That's yeah. true. That is true. I didn't think about yeah. that. Firework show goes, and if nothing catches fire, you had a successful show. <laughs> and a lot of people don't realize this, but living in New York, we see the Macy's Parade, and that's one of the large uh, Macy's fireworks. That's one of the largest fireworks displays around the world during that time of the year and one year i remember this was way before pre-covid everyone is so busy looking in the air but you rarely ever mm. look at the barges they have misfires um oh, yeah. <laughs> all kinds of crazy stuff happens on those barges and you have guys with extinguishers to put out little miniature mm. fires in case a mortar doesn't go off the way it's supposed to so i wouldn't want not only is on it, that barge Need to show you, I wouldn't either. There's no way off. We we had we we had uh, we we. I mean, I mean, I have a couple of stories because we've done shows with mm -hmm. uh, with with fireworks. One and uh, one of the shows we done in Qatar. Mm -hmm. One of the all 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 the. Um, all the fireworks were, were actually on pontoons, so, so so they were on the water, and one of the pontoons went on fire. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is this is what remember, I'm saying. And, uh, and I remember the pilot team mm. running out and getting into a boat, and then and, he, the, and then he's swooping water up. He's trying to get water. water. <laughs> <laughs> is it, yeah. <laughs> you know. So where, you know, so, so where uh, was it going to go yeah. to once it burned? To you wanted to save the pontoon because because actually there's a you lot of technology the that is that is involved in that. You actually oh. have technology on that, so you have got so you actually have a server on there which is being controlled by the um, by the control room for the fireworks. So right. they are so they are controlling all that. It's actually being controlled. It could be over four G. It could be over. It could be over Ethernet. So okay. You have a lot of technology which can cost a lot of money. So it's not just a case of having a line and having gunpowder go off and that's it. It's it's a lot more it's a lot more complex than that. Okay. Uh Jeff Norman says thank you for saying Kutar 
it rather than cutter. Cut off? <laughs> cut, cutter. Cutter. Cutter? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jeff Norman just said that in the chat. If you guys have any questions about drone light shows, um, I've done I research, do. Stephen. <laughs> just just you know amateur what? research, I, I, and it's actually, not easy. You know, I actually saw... You talk about research on it. I, and I, when I spoke to, we first spoke on it, Stephen, and I, I've, I've done, I, I've got into a little bit of it myself. And I actually saw the whole thing when, uh, you remember you were talking about when, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, brother took over with the uh, with the drones and you were yeah. uh, working. With them. Elon Musk's brother. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I saw when, when that had uh, taken place too. And, uh, and, and, the, and, the, and the whole thing starts like, from like from basically it it, it comes from like actually a, a, a design first before it can then go anywhere you know somebody has mm. to envision yeah. what it's what it's actually going to be or what it's, before it can even become anything you this know? is and, true and I like the, the whole you, you the can whole have process it's, is it's, a long way yeah you you know we need at least two months at least two months to start designing the show. So usually, I mean, just to give you an example, mm -hmm. we, we are talking with one customer now because we are now doing our own shows as well. But we, we just hire them and, and then we do our own shows. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so, so you ask the customer, what's your story? What's your event? You know, is there, is there, something, is there something you want to tell as a story in the sky? Is right. something that you want to communicate, you know? Right. So those are the kind of things. And, and then you start there. So then you start with a storyboard. You start with something mm -hmm. that will tell a story so that, so that the audience can be emotionally dragged in and they can relate to it. And right. that's, that's why most of us, why nine times out of 10, when, you, when we do these shows, they, I mean, you get people who are, you know, and, you know, in the audience, and they get really emotional. They get very emotional when they see this. You know, it's... it's, it's well, it's, 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 it, humans you know. are very visual. So to be able to put on a visual show takes a lot within itself, like you said. Mm -hmm. You know, and, yeah. and like, if you can tell a story from point A to point Z, your mission is, has mm -hmm. been accomplished. That's what people do when they write oh, yeah. books. Yeah. They take information exactly. and things, yeah. and they pull you into it. But I got two questions mm -hmm. here in the chat. Mm -hmm. One is from Jeff Norman. It says, I hear London will be in a total no-fly zone starting May 6th. Mm -hmm. True, yes or not. Mm -hmm. Does this mm -hmm. affect shops like mm -hmm. yours, Stephen? Uh, no. If you, uh, there's, there's, there's uh, this, is, this is probably for the, for the King's, yeah, for the King's coronation. Oh, yeah, 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 so, the coronation. I forgot yeah, about that's that. What, that's, that's what it's for. So I would say nine times out of 10, there's probably going to be a drone light show. Probably going to be a drone light show. I don't know. During, who, that, during that event, it who, would make sense. I, yeah, yeah. You going, Jeff? So, <laughs> and, and, and the second one, Stephen, is from Jim's drone. And he says, those drones seem big. How many lights on board are on board them? Because I know they produce more light than the actual physical shape of the the physical shape of the drone. There's only one light. One light. Is it an one LED? Light. Is it what's what's an what, LED? Yeah. It's it's an LED an with LED. reflective. Because I noticed the domes. Mm -hmm. The domes reflect the light. So does it matter what yeah. type of dome is on it? Do you use? Do you, can you it, change it up it, for different perspectives? It, it, it depends on the type of LED you're using, but mm -hmm. it also depends on the design of the casing. Which will help with that as well, and it depends where you put it. Is it on the bottom or is it on the top? Uh, and of course, you're always thinking about the center of gravity with that drone. So, you, mm -hmm. so when it's when so when it when 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 it's being designed, you just have, you know you know you get the best performance out of it. So you get the best so that it will last in certain wind conditions and whatnot. So you have to be very very strict, knowing that if we get to a certain point of wind, we can't fly. And we don't fly, you know, uh, or or if we fly, we're going to expect some drones to come down because, okay. uh, 
yeah, you know, because you know they can't. And and the more drones that are up there, the more risk there is. And the longer the shows you have, the more risk mm -hmm. you have losing so many in the fleet. So right, um, there's there's things that you have to take into account. Of it. If it's a one-off show, if it's a one-off show, and mm -hmm. and the wind is maybe just a little bit high, but right. you know you're thinking it can ah, affect okay, your show. Okay, I'll take the risk. You'll take the risk. It can affect your show. You, mm -hmm. you, you, yeah, yeah. We might, we might take that risk. That, but that's something that we will all agree on. It's not something that one person will just agree. It's something that we'll all agree on, knowing that if if one or two comes down, that that may be okay. We have a safety buffer. And everything's fine. What, However, what, if what, you're doing, if you're doing, if if you're doing a long run of shows, if, so if you're doing like 30, 40 days, yeah. right, and you and you start off. And it's windy. No, no right. Because if you lose, because because if you lose X amount of drones, that's drones that you're going to lose for the future. Right. You need to make right. sure that you have enough that will last you for the amount of time. So you have to think management, fleet management, right. risk management. So I'm assuming and, you also and have you know, an on-site tech as well to re repair drones. Repair. Um, it depends. Well, you know what, Stephen, that that, that 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 brings me to two different questions because I know we spoke in the past and when you were uh, was in Singapore, you we told me about the safety and and um you were, were, were um main your main concern was about the safety and when you say that you about losing drones, how often does something like that happen? Right. Like if you launch a hundred drones, I, how many do you expect saw, to land? Because I saw one show where they dropped a lot of them, and and uh, I don't. Uh, you've seen the video, Lawrence. Everybody's seen yes, that. they've had a, had a major. They show. had a major yeah. failure. A drone, a, a major is blackout the, or whatever happened. Is this the one in China? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I believe so. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, because I have to be very careful what I say here. Obviously. Uh, okay. I don't want to upset people. I don't want to upset people. <laughs> the Chinese one was 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 quite bad uh, yeah. because they were falling on people. So they so they were falling on people, and this is the issue that I have with the Chinese companies. They don't take you know they don't take safety into account. They will just put okay. things up, and right. they won't give a damn. You need okay. to have a safety buffer, even even though your drones are damn safe. Even though you know you've got good GPS, even though you know you've got good radio, you still have to have a safety buffer because you, you know, it's it's, you know, that's that's why airports have got safety buffers. That's why you're not allowed to wander on. You have got lots of space because it's also do with safety. Right. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we we always have a safety buffer, it, mm -hmm. and and we're very conservative about it. Either. We're very conservative. We we'll, we'll always have more than we need, but it's for a reason because we want to keep the whole thing safe. If you okay. start to have negativity around drone light shows, mm -hmm. if you you know it's the same it's the same with fireworks. You you you, you know you see what happens with fireworks if they if they hit people. That's that's that is very very bad if it's if it's in an uncontrolled environment. If you're in a very controlled environment where we do the drone light shows, very controlled environment, we are in charge of the area. We know who is where. We don't let anyone into the area that shouldn't be there. Um, right. That keeps it safe. And that is where we still have got a good reputation. And that's why. Well, see, I, I, I see applaud that. you for that. I applaud mm -hmm. you for that because I don't remember exactly what country you were in, but I remember you were telling Herman and I a story about how the leader of that particular country was like, I want the light show. And you were like, no light show. And he's like, I want the light show. And you were like, no light show until it's safe. <laughs> what was that all about? And I applaud you on that because I wouldn't be in another country telling the country's leader, yo, we're not having a light show when that's what he came to see. <laughs> I, I, I didn't tell him that there was no light show. I told him, I told them to f off. Basically, <laughs> well, I was trying to be nice about it, but since you said it, <laughs> and and um, why? What was the yeah. reason that you told them this? We won't say what country it is in retaliation. We we don't want to see that. But it, the 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 basically what happened was is that they had put people into an area that uh, was over our safety buffer. 
mm. where safety buffer was in an area and they had put people in that area. And I said to them, if <laughs> you have those people in that area, I am not giving the okay to launch drones. And the attitude was, well, this is this country here and we, we don't, you know, safety doesn't have to be taken too seriously. I says, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not launching the drones. It's up to you. It's, right. up, it's entirely up to you. If they're still there, at the point that we are supposed to launch, mm -hmm. they are not launching. So now what they, what they did try to do was they did try to get you know, everyone out of the area, which was fine. But at the point when we should have been launching, people were still standing there. So I said, no, I <laughs> said we're not <laughs> launching. <laughs> and, and so I, I, so I walked away from the area and I said, I'm going to give you time to clear it. I'm going to go and, and I'll, I'll wait. And then I'll come back and then I'll tell the guys. Right. And then my and and then and then my phone rang. Mm -hmm. I, I looked at the phone and I said, "Well, this is not a phone number I know." So, and I said, "Hello." And the person said, "Well, this is this is the this is the uh, I think there was the president's aide. I think it was. Mm -hmm. I have the president here. He wants to speak to you." And I was okay. And uh, yeah, this president, I want I want to see the drone light show. And I said, "Well, we're not going to launch because." It's not safe at the moment. I says, but right. as soon as it's here, I'll launch. Mm -hmm. And the president launched the drones now. I said, no. And he <laughs> said, I demand, I demand you launch those drones right now. And <laughs> at this point, I, I, I was probably really, really annoyed and a bit right. stressed out. And I told them to. You told them to F off? Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and 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 I hung the phone up, uh -oh. and one of one of one of my pilots <laughs> looked at me, and he said to me, "You don't look very good." And I just realized what I'd done. I just, <laughs> just it suddenly hit me. You hung up on the leader of the I country <laughs> and told him, "Hell, <laughs> you know." <laughs> and, and and you're still so in I the hotel. Yeah, see, see that. I, I, I just didn't think I was going to get out of the country. I thought, I'm not going to get out of this country. Some, <laughs> something's going to happen to me. Good morning, Rob. I'm I'm sure I think. So, so how long after that were you still there? I mean... <laughs> uh, uh, it was about seven minutes, and then I could, I could, get, I, I could get the drones up, and then, then it was fine. And uh, Apparently, the president was happy, but uh -huh. um, I, I wasn't convinced, but... I, I I was literally, honestly, I was very, very worried. I so you I would be too. So you flew <laughs> over the people. No, 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 no. He's messing with you, Stephen. He's messing with you, Stephen. He's messing with you, Stephen. But I, you, you no, see my point no. in in ask, asking what happened in a situation because. I, I watch, there's a show here in the States called Locked Up and Abroad. Uh -huh. And it happens to, it's a show about people who go to other countries and right. get locked up. Well, whether it, it be stupid, whether it be stupid or it be something dumb they did or, or by mistake, you know, you had, you, there are certain parts of the world you don't want to go to jail. Oh, yeah. yeah. This country I was in, you don't know, you don't want to do that. Trust me. This exactly. Country, exactly. In, you know, exactly. <laughs> Mexico, Singapore. New Mexico. Yeah, you know, there's really just crazy. some places in the world you do not want to go to jail. And and I just thought yeah. about thought about <laughs> that while you were saying. <laughs> I I remembered yeah. you mentioning that. It's, <laughs> it's um, it's it's you know, it's something that uh, I think has pretty much defined what I've been doing, and I'm very very happy that. If that's the reputation that we have because of of that type uh -huh. of let's see incident, if you want to say it, and, you know, I, you know, I'm I think that you know I'm very happy that <laughs> that we've done that. As it as it turned out, as it turned out, uh -huh. I got sent to other other shows because of my reputation because they, they because they knew that I wouldn't take any any BS. So I got. Sent to other places. That's okay. a good thing, though. Or knowing that what? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Of course, it was safety good. It was first. Good. It was good. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what I wanted to ask you about before Ryan comes on? You you had um you did a video recently about um the Mini 3 and the Mini 3 Pro and the RTKs. Yeah. I, I guess everybody really, really wants them, huh? What, or, you, or you mean the SDK? The S, yes, uh, yeah, the SDKs. Well, I'm sorry about that. Sorry about yeah. that. Yeah, no, 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 no. The SDKs. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I know that it's something that people really want. People really, I mean, this, where is it? Oh, it's, it's here. Mini 3, it's a very popular drone. It's, I think it's probably one of the most popular drones out there right now. It really is popular. And I do understand why, because, you know, for, for its weight, it's not quite a one-in sensor, but of course it does quite a lot. I yeah. think that this is something that people really want to do. And, and um, you know, if this gives people some yeah. chance to be able to do some mapping, do something remotely professional with a drone like this, then why not? Mm -hmm. You know, but um, uh, yeah, but, the, you know, it, you know, the SDK has now been released to uh, developers, so they now have it in their hands. However, mm -hmm. however, as of yet, there is no SDK for iOS, so it's mm -hmm. only for Android. Okay. And uh, and and where is it? Where is it? I have. And of course, this the DJI RC isn't going to be a. Isn't really, it isn't going to be functional with it. So, so you have to use the N1 controller, which of course we all have nine, nine, 900 of, you know. True. With them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right about that. <laughs> you're, you're right about that. I found one and oh. I was like, oh, that went with this drone. <laughs> you know, so yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> well, you remember, know what? remember, remember. Remember years ago, right, in uh -huh. second-hand bookshops, you always had 19,000 copies of the Da Vinci Code, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Remember, it's going to be the same. It's going to be the same for drones. <laughs> it's going to be like 1,900 <laughs> in one people <laughs> sitting in a car. You know, that's a, very, that's a very strong possibility, a very, very strong possibility because right now in the drone community, I don't consider you a real drone pilot if you only have one controller. Uh oh, here we go. It's it's hard to be. We got, no, we got, and, no, we, and, no. We, I don't. We mean, got. I don't, we got Ryan come. <laughs> we got Ryan coming in. Uh, I don't go. I, <laughs> I don't. Never. Never mind. I. I, I <laughs> never mind. Never mind. And, and I know there are a lot of people with one drone controller, but never uh -huh. mind. It, okay. It's a long story. Bring Ryan in. Bring Ryan in. Well, it, it it depends if you're it depends if you're monogamous like that or not. You have one control of taking <laughs> Well Okay, it, thank thank you for the save. Thank you for the save, Steve. Well Ryan Ryan <laughs> Ryan is come making his way to the to the stage now, as as they might say in show business. But, I'm um, hopeful you can hear me. Okay, we yes, can hear we can we hear just you. Just, see have you. To, just have to cut your camera on. Ryan well, yeah, that's, is the, that's is, another is, is, if I'm if I'm if I'm not mistaken, like and I want to get this correct, but Ryan happens to be the director of regulatory affairs of the Great Lakes Drone Company. There it is, yeah. Great there we go. I got company. it right this time. <laughs> I got it right this time. Okay. And Ryan works very hard in the drone community to help every one of us here. And he is Johnny on the spot whenever you need him. In case try, of an emergency. Have you two hey, met, Stephen? Before and, I and say Ryan? another word, congratulations, yes. guys. At Lawrence, Herman, you've been thank putting you. these things on. Number 200. Fantastic. Thank you, thank you. Thank you man. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. We, we do that this. We awesome. do this. We do this for Herman, even though I don't know how his numbers are going backwards, but that's another <laughs> thing. Have you guys <laughs> met each other, Stephen and Ryan, formally? I believe you have. We, huh? we've, we've been have on something been. before. Okay. Well. <laughs> we've, we, I think I think we've actually been on this show before. I'm not quite sure, but we've been on the same. But we're also uh, but we're also connected on LinkedIn. Ryan, I follow you a lot. I I follow your work, even though I'm in I'm in you know I'm in Europe, and what happens doesn't affect me. I follow what you do, and you're doing an amazing job over there. 
Mm-hmm. Well done. Oh, thank you. I, 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 totally, you. I totally support you. I totally support you, what you're doing. I follow everything that you do. It's very important. Um, and I have a great admiration for the work that you do. Much yes, appreciated. Man, you do some really great work. And I also follow things that you do. We uh, follow each other on uh, LinkedIn and, and, and a few other places. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, the last time you were here, we talked about a couple of the uh, was it the uh, the Senate bill and stuff like that, and 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 the one that was in the Assembly and stuff like that. Um, we have so much going on, so yes. much. Oh Lord, uh, yes. <laughs> but so let me start since with then, New York. <laughs> well, oh, there's something still going on with yeah. that. Uh, okay, because I was going to ask you about that. Florida, but let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. So uh, New York <clears> still needs our attention. Mm-hmm. Uh, the bill is now in committee. Uh, okay. You know, that, that's a danger, right? So we always hear about, mm-hmm. hey, something can go to the committee and that's, die. Yes, that's where they that die. Does happen, right? right. Yeah. But, but what we have is a chance where uh, there are a couple of amendments being thrown around. There's another bill in the mix as well. So they're trying to get some consolidation going on various things. So we do need to have continued support. Uh, to to engage your state senator, engage your state house rep, mm-hmm. and be able to say, hey, you know, this is important. We need preemption in here. Now, part of the other pieces in there, uh, there's another bill that's being floated as a second idea is to limit the use of drones by policing organizations. And it's not a bad thing, right? It's saying, hey, if you're going to use this for a police uh, investigation, surveillance, you need mm-hmm. to have a warrant. And that's not a bad idea, right? So mm-hmm. we don't want mm-hmm. our public government spying on us. We, we, we'd True. like to have some type of, of controls over that. So that's what this bill is asking to do. So the two are not incongruous, right? Okay. So you, you can have both at the same time. You could have one or the other. I think it's the idea that we want to have the best bill put forward. So if the two get put together, okay, let's do that. But mm-hmm. but it's a matter of of knocking on that state senator's door. Hey, we we need your your uh, uh, approval on this. We need that assemblyman to go in and, and vote for this thing. So um, do okay. continue to take it to them. Okay, okay. all right. So that's that's, what's that's on top of the one that's uh, what was that oh oh one ninety four. And okay, I, yeah, um, I think that's the one. Yep. Okay, I got. You. I I have a question for you, Ryan. Um, uh, how 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 does this affect drone companies in these states that are that are flying every day compared to just let's say the hobbyist who is flying let's say every day? How how does it? I mean, are are there other drone companies out there that are very concerned? Does is this going to affect business? Good question. Do they know? Do 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 these states realize? Or do they, and, and, and this is, uh, you know, I'm guessing where, where you come in in terms of the communication on how, 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 how there is, let's say, some discussions about how this you know, affects employment and stuff like that as well. So Yeah. So for me, um, you know, I, I'm really looking at this as a two-part scenario, right? Um, I see a lot of Part 107 operators that will say, hey, look, Make sure that I'm not locked down, right? That it yeah. doesn't affect my business. But go right. ahead and put all the restrictions on the hobbyists. Mm-hmm. I have to remind that that mindset, right? Hey, you have to start someplace. Your your recreational operator is your farm league to your 107. Do you really want to to go that route, right? Um, mm-hmm. Because if you do, you're never going to have a farm league mm-hmm. ever. So. I, the way I try to communicate with uh, uh, representatives and senators is to say, number one, we have regulations at the federal level. Those regulations are for both hobbyists and Part 107. We, we need those, both of those entities to be able to operate. And if you lock down one, you've endangered the national airspace anyway, because that person is still going to go fly, Right. They're, mm-hmm. they're just not going to fly in the manner that might be important to fly. Um, and I, yeah. a great example I gave to somebody who said, well, I'd rather see it locked down in the park. 
and then they can go elsewhere. That's fine. And I said to that person, you really want that 12 year old to go fly outside of city limits in a cornfield where suddenly a crop duster is coming through versus fly in your park where it's recreational. They're staying below their treetops. They're not in harm's way of an aircraft. Right. And that person went, hmm, you're right. Right. Because mm. when we locked down one portion of the NAS, we mm. opened it to someplace else that maybe that person shouldn't be. Right. Yep. Right. But yep. you know what, Stephen, and, and to what you were saying, I know there was a company here, uh, it was at Gotham, that was having an issue with some of the issues going on here. And then when they had the uh, the light show, they had to launch from Jersey because they could not do it here. In and, New York, yeah. Mm-hmm. So the, that that was one of the issues. And New York goes back and forth, back and forth with it. And it's like, it's like, can you use a drone? Can't you use a drone? But the police said we can. Will police use drones? So I'm like, where do you launch from? Mm-hmm. Right, right, <laughs> right. right. It, yeah. it, 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 you they launch from an airfield and then fly to where you're working? Oh, I, I don't know. How do they do it? I, I, <laughs> I think, I, I, you know. You know, I mean, you know, as you know, I do come from the hobby side because mm-hmm. I because I started as a hobbyist. I'm still a hobbyist, but obviously, I'm on the professional side as well. Um, right. Obviously, obviously, here in Europe, it's a little, it's a lot different. But however, I think that the dialogue that you're having is important to have with the senators or or the regulators, whatever. I, I you mm-hmm. know, I mean. I mean I think you're probably dealing with the senators only, but there has to be communication. There is a lack of communication towards the authorities or people in certain authorities because they don't understand the possibilities of growth within this industry, whether you're a hobbyist who's starting who could possibly go into, or those who are currently working in there. Mm -hmm. If you lock down an airspace because of whatever reason, or say that you can't launch a drone light show from from New York because because of some silly law, or because someone doesn't understand. Someone has to make them understand because you know because the possibilities of of having more people in a certain area, which will increase the amount of revenue to local businesses, right. hotels, restaurants, or whatever, mm-hmm. it all has a knock on effect. You know, it's not just about being able to fly is what that will do. If you have a company who's flying a drone, they could be helping some other industry, some other company, mm. which will allow them to expand and grow more. Right. There's, there's, there's um, no understanding, totally understanding of that right now. People are just going, no, and that's, that's it. You know, I, and to me, it's... Uh, well, that's you know, exactly even, something we're seeing in in uh, New Jersey right now, uh-huh. right? We have a lot of New Jersey beach towns that are saying, "Hey, we don't want drones flying over our beach," and so they're trying to put in regulations mm-hmm. to prohibit that. Now, New Jersey is a preemption state, so they can't do that. But mm-hmm. the ones that are trying to do that, we we've gone to them and said, "Look, people are deciding where they're going to spend their vacation dollars. A drone operator wants to get some pretty pictures of the beach. His mm-hmm. family's, you know, there." they are going to find someplace else to stay and they're not going to spend their dollars at your restaurants. They're Ryan, not going to visit Ryan, your movies. Ryan, I could tell you how true that is because I happen to know a certain individual personally that will not get on a certain cruise line because the cruise line does not allow them to bring their drone on. <laughs> and they just sit there chuckling in the corner right there. <laughs> <laughs> So I know exactly what you're talking about. And and that's what it's about. Stephen, you mentioned it. To be able to have someone take a drone somewhere and fly and enjoy themselves. And that's commerce being brought to that town. Someone mm-hmm. made, write a re- made write a review and say, hey, this town is very drone friendly. This tra- town is very not drone friendly. That dictates well, money well, coming into that well, well, you know what, Lawrence, when you talk about New York, and we, we talked about this before, New York knows nothing about that because mm-hmm. right there where you were behind you, right next to it was supposed to get a, a, a stadium. We didn't get that. It would have been mm-hmm. it would have been earning revenue, but now we have an empty Neiman Marcus and a vessel that no one can go on anymore. 
So you do the math on that one. This is a city that lost money on off-track betting. So please don't tell me about learning about revenue. Mm-hmm. So yeah. please, they don't they don't know nothing about. They're losing money on the subway that people ride back and forth every day. Like, please stop. They don't know nothing about revenue. Yeah, so, yeah. So Ryan, Ryan, this, this Ryan, time, I I I have a question. Uh, mm-hmm. I have lots of questions for you. What about urban air mobility? <laughs> Has that ever? Has that has that ever come up? It's it's, it's coming. <laughs> it's, it's the it's the three words that I hate the most: urban mobility. But that's not story. <laughs> you know what's interesting, right? And and New York is in this situation, right? Uh, yeah. If you think about urban mm. air mobility. The, the places that are going to be the early adopters are going to be the big cities. Nobody's going to fly this thing in a, in a rural area. You want to be able to make short commutes, especially emergency type commutes, right? Between mm-hmm. areas that are compacted with traffic that you can't get through. Yeah, New York is prime example. And yet we have the avigation ordinance that sits there from 70 plus years ago that says mm-hmm. you can't, launch land etc so new york's gotta change they know they have to it's just a matter of somebody's got to have the common sense to say how can we do this in a manner that makes sense well i can say they haven't had that well i can say the governor governor Uh, local she she's she is behind um what's happening in 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 the drone hot corridor from rome new york to wherever they, they're they have that drone corridor testing and she's actually stopped them from being able to sue helicopter pilots if you worked for a helicopter company you could have gotten sued someone was trying to pass the law wasn't that herman yes yes the, she, she where you could bill. sue a heli she vetoed for, the bill for, you could um, sue noise it. pollution yes so if you worked for the helicopter, you're not a pilot, you're not flying, but if you worked for the company, anybody involved in the flight sued. could be sued. Yeah. Yes. But, well, but the thing is, and you see, and I think that the problem with the whole urban air mobility thing is, and I think this is why Stephen and a lot of people have a problem with swallowing it, is because they marketed it wrong. <laughs> you're trying to show me how I can replace my gasoline driven car with this electric car. But you haven't shown me how I can replace my helicopter with this electric one. But you keep trying to make it a whole movement to say that these things are going to be flying down the middle of the street. That's what people probably think now. That these things will be yeah. flying over you, oh, right down the middle of the street over our vehicles. It'll take off out of a out of a parking spot and just start flying down. That I, that's not gonna happen. But the replacement okay. of the helicopter, I, 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 I can see that. I have two words for you. Science fiction. I went to Amsterdam Drone Week a couple uh-huh. of weeks ago. Uh, um, in, uh, in, in Amsterdam. Uh, now, this is the premier mm-hmm. European drone event you know, for the industry. Mm-hmm. And I was invited there. I had a free ticket, which is fine. Uh, and ninety percent of the event was urban air mobility. Mm. And uh, I, I, I wasn't very happy. I really wasn't very happy because I had a lot. Of, I, I, anyone, <laughs> anyone who read my LinkedIn post will will know what happens next. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah so so i i gave some i gave some feedback it was open honest feedback i wasn't being insulting i, I was mm-hmm. very supportive right so i just didn't you think it was a yeah um they they actually contacted me after <laughs> Andrew contacted me really and said yeah yeah they did they did um they, they actually contacted me and uh they actually asked me to help them for next year to make sure this doesn't happen again. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. You got a job. <laughs> and you got a job. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So, well, I told you, sometimes yeah. you just got to put your foot down, open your mouth, and, and things might happen. 
All right. Look, yes. Look, 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 you know, you know, I think it's good to have, you know, good to have people there to talk to. But there was no one from the industry side there to talk to. Right. It was only there was only the suits. Right. There was only the suits, which is fine. But you need we need to have conversation. We, we need to have con conversation. But you need some Just other people Ryan's to be represented. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I totally yeah. understand what you're saying because a lot of times it'll make it seem as if it's it's just for sale and not and then nothing makes sense and it's like everything's like you know these guys are talking and these guys are talking but which one of you guys are using? Mm. You know, yeah. and and, and, that, and that's the problem. None of them, <laughs> exactly. And, and this is and, and this is and, and and this is why I you know this is why I'm now I'm, you know just going back to Ryan now and why I support what he's doing because. He knows, he understands, he flies, he speaks for them, and he knows them. And and that's what we need. We, we, you know, we don't have that here, but you know, you know, I'm you know, I'm not that kind of person to do that because I'll just end up making a fool of myself. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. You, yeah. You mentioned to me something about um Mississippi following suit with like what what Florida did because Florida oh, what, they yeah. banned all use of Chinese drones. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah. Uh, this has been very very <laughs> challenging, right? So yeah. Florida put in a, a law in place to say you could not uh fit well and this is for their entity so you're not talking about private users at this point anyway. Uh but you know public entities who right, have public. DJI drones are now being dis disallowed to use those drones mm -hmm. so it's a real decimation to uh, you know search and rescue first responders um you know police doing any type of uh, you know accident uh, uh rec recreation um dji drones still occupy 70 plus percent of the marketplace um, especially in search and rescue and and, and oh, law enforcement yeah mm -hmm. and so for, and, and, for florida to come out and say you cannot, they are not on, on this list of mm -hmm. being able to be used. You've really decimated those organizations. And now Missouri, same no, difference. They're, they're looking at the same thing. Um, Nevada actually was, was going down this path too. I think there was some, some real pushback uh, by the, the drone operators in that state. And so it got, uh, it was failed, um, okay. which is a great thing. But yeah, Missouri is just in the same but Mississippi is another one um, mm. going the same route. And, and I get it, right? There, right now, politically, we have this charge that's anti-Chinese. Um, there's an isolationism that's coming into play, right? This, mm -hmm. this idea of <laughs> America first, right? Well, it's it, been going, it's been going a long time now. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, but the idea of saying, well, we're just going to cut out everything that's Chinese. Well, you can't quite do that, right? Uh, I get that you want to have a plan going forward to say, let's create more in the United States. So let's incentivize certain companies to start building drones, right? Uh, to bring them up to speed, you know, subsidize them in some way that brings them out to a level of competitiveness that's fairly equal with the, the main players. But mm -hmm. we aren't doing that. Mm -hmm. Can I well, can I raise see, my hand? Well, on, you see, can I, mm -hmm. <laughs> go ahead, Lawrence. Can I can I raise my hand on that one? The only problem with that one is, no matter how American you build it, it still has Chinese parts in it. So well, who see, stops someone from? Well, go ahead, Herman. Well, see, that's exactly where I was going to go, but in a different route because you know, here in America, we we treat a lot of things, if not everything, just like how like the New York sports teams. We need to win now. Forget about tomorrow now. So that mm -hmm. means that you will have to bring incentive to bring some of those people that are already in the play over here to help you do this because they have a whole infrastructure set up to do this. We don't. Right. right. You understand what I'm saying to you? I don't care if I, they make a drone that's got parts from all different places. It's on the same block. We we don't have that set up here. We would have to go different places to put this and to become like a a, a bastard drone. Yeah, yeah. I I don't. I and I understand what America is trying to do. They're saying in order to become a um a country 
that's back in the industry of, of producing things, you have to produce them here. The problem is you can't produce stuff here when you're charging $1,500 for a lead pencil. Well, also to mm. a, a, a community <laughs> that is not as broad as you would like it to be because of the simple fact is that we need to go back to the youth. Yeah. And, and you have to, you, you have to have the knowledge and you have to spark the interest for it to grow in the that youth industry. in the youth today. That, not, that was more, I think it's more, I think it's more the education. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, more, exactly. it's more funding, the, which, which, which then has to come from the government. Exactly. So it's, a, so it's kind of it's kind of, it's kind of oh, going sorry. around uh, in that way as well. Um, but my uh, but no, again, please forgive me. I'm in Europe, so I'm not in the US here. Um, and my, you know, my mm. way of thinking is that what 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 is happening in Florida and other places with this is there is is there something else? Is there something else going on? Is it really about Chinese parts? Is it really about the spying? Oh, is there is there something I don't think so. else? It, I don't think so. I don't think so. I no reason why I don't think so because the same thing that they're complaining about, uh, Google and everybody else is already doing. True. Uh, the same thing that they're complaining about. There are other apps and things out there that are already doing that. Like even simple mm -hmm. uh, downloads, you can download flashlight apps that will track your information and store your information. Right. Why well, I know the that to be fact because Norton told me this because I happen to have the system. So right. I got rid of that flashlight off of my phone. But the thing what I'm saying to you is, I think it's more so with the popularity of it. Whatever it becomes too popular, if I can't have, I don't have the control over it, then somebody else has control over me. And, and I think that's where the problem is. So if I can stop them until I can get ahead of them, then that works for me too. Well, and that's what I, I see is happening. I'll, I'll TikTok and all of that nonsense is a distraction. Go ahead, Ryan. I say, I, I'll, I'll take this stance, right? So I, I think we know that there are two countries that are vying for superpower in this, this world, right? So the United mm -hmm. States is the superpower. I think everybody has a feeling that China is vying for that superpower as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if we look at the United States, right, our real superpower has been air power. We were the inventors of mm -hmm. the aircraft. That air power really won World War II, right? Um, World War I was the bringing in of the air power. And so when we talk about no fly zones in war areas, right, that's exertion of power. I, I do think that there's a political will to see if we can cut off the DJIs, right, the, the Chinese manufacturing, to see if we can bring that here. But, but the real problem is that whenever that's been attempted without government intervention, it's been disaster for the company. So if you think about 3DR, right? The 3DR company came out with what the Solo and the Iris. They were poised, they were best poised at the very beginning of the drone industry to take on DJI. Mm -hmm. DJI squashed them like a bug. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next up was GoPro. GoPro mm -hmm. said, hey, we've got a camera. We can get in on this. And they created the GoPro Karma. Within a week of creating the GoPro Karma, DJI had an offering that was every bit, if not better. It was the Mavic. It right. had more features. It had a lower price point. And by gosh, the Karma was falling out of the sky. So and it the worked. GoPro and had to worked. recall it. Right. And exactly. it worked. <clears throat> and now, yeah. if the government had said, hey, to, to GoPro or to 3DR, we're going to subsidize you. We're going to give you X millions of dollars to to get you funded and get you going with the promise that you're going to pay this back in taxes. We understand, you know, you're going to create jobs out of this. We can have a, 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 a relationship that is worthwhile towards the future. And that didn't happen. And, and to catch up on that now, how are you going to do that when DJI controls 70 plus percent? Right. 
mm-hmm. uh, you know, they're going to try it at some point, just like they're doing with TikTok, force the sale of the company they're to the try US and bully firm. them. Yeah, right. They bully yeah. them. And I don't know that that's going to work. Um, and honestly, I have a lot of DJI drones. I mean, they are fantastic drones. They just yeah. do the job. Some of the other manufacturers, no, right? Yeah. Well, well yeah, you know what, too, Ryan. With that, let's let's look at that. When you say the other manufacturers, right? Um, there are there were other manufacturers that made consumer uh, drones because that's what we're talking about. Drones that are off the shelf drones, right? Once the government gets involved, those companies stop doing that. Yeah, sometimes they that's the case too. That. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that makes DJI that makes DJI even more popular at what they do. Mm-hmm. You know, so I, I I don't know. I just think that it's the, the TikTok got big, right? Because of the amount of clicks that they had in in, in the last couple of years. Government sees that as a problem. It's a Chinese thing. We don't have that. Oh, we the they got the no control. It's no control. And I think that's the same thing with DJI. That's why and and Autel that try to crush it. You know, yes. and they should be the listening ahead, to the people who actually the, use the product. Go ahead, Stephen. The le- but you know when. For example, the FAA are bringing in, let's say, remote ID. Okay, so you have remote ID. How much money has been invested in remote ID? How much money is being is going is being invested in other platforms and in other industries and in other companies where they need to have those drones flying? Okay, so whether whether you support remote ID or not, this is this is not the point here. The point is is that is it has been developed. They want it to be in use. If they are going to now ban DJI drones, they're literally cutting off their own hand. It it makes no sense. It it really really makes no sense. It's like it's like me, you know, building a television and then and of all those people who actually make the TV shows, you know, yeah, I have a television, but I can't watch anything on, you know. Um, so I I I don't I don't understand. Why this is this this is happening, and I don't see that it's going to have such a huge impact. I don't see them banning DJI drones, but of course you'll have maybe a couple of states, and and this is why I'm thinking it's more political than anything else. Because you know, from what I understand about the American political system, and I don't want to talk about politics here, but it seems to be that in certain states that these are popular or these are hubs for certain things or whatever mm-hmm. I don't know. It's, 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 and that's why I'm thinking that there's more to it than that. Now I'll give you a, a, kind of what I'm seeing, and this is just my take on things. Um, I think that there's a chance that DJI is kind of thumbing their nose a little bit at the U.S. government right now with remote ID. Mm-hmm. So what, what mm-hmm. the DJI just came out and announced is that there are certain uh, for certain enterprise level drones that will not receive remote ID firmware updates. Mm. What those yeah. drones are, the M200, M600, and the M2 mm-hmm. uh, Zoom and M2 uh, Dual, yeah. right? Yeah. And those are yeah. first responder type drones. These are mm-hmm. drones that every police department around the nation purchased back in what 2018 yes when they were brand yes. new they purchased them again in 2020 that there's there's no chance that you're going to get a module for those for under 300 bucks right now what's the chance mm-hmm. that you get it more like 50 bucks later on and you know closer to september mm-hmm. eh, right. i don't know and and then you think about if if you're going to require <laughs> remote id and your first responders who are using these drones aren't even going to use it. Well, what's the incentive for the general public to? True. Mm. True. Very, very true. Right. And you know, you know, it's another thing that they, the, you know, since Florida passed this law, uh, was it Drone Sense or whatever came out with a module now that's like a piggyback computer that overrides the DJI linkage to the to the control of that the frequency yes. so they can use their own frequency to fly this the fly these drones and the, the, none of the information goes back to DJI. 
Um, now you would have to have that plus the, the remote ID module on the drone. Right. For them to be able to use these drones. Mm -hmm. That seems to be the way to go. There, there are a lot of I, models. I really, I really don't understand. The way to go was strapping stuff onto your drone. Now the number that you had, the, the original license plate number that you had on your drone, now the remote mm -hmm. ID module, and, and now this thing, <laughs> to, so is that DJI can't see what you're doing with the drone. And, and you're asking to folks to, to change the center drone. of gravity, right? Yes. But they're yep. strapping something on, and who yep. knows if they're strapping it on in the right position that's going to be the best for the drone. Exactly. And, and mm -hmm. if you're talking about safety, that's, that's really important. <clears throat> yep. Exactly. We're doing real good. <laughs> We're doing <laughs> real good. We're doing real good. Hey, let I mean, me tell you about what, another thing. You know, right? I just... Yes, I, I was going to say, let me tell you about another thing. And this one really, really concerns me. Um, <clears throat> you know, what we've seen as well in terms of legislation is this idea of aerial trespass. And I think everybody here knows there's no such thing as aerial trespass at this point. But we know it's coming. We know at some point mm -hmm. legislatures are working up ideas about how they put yeah. this in place. One of the key mm -hmm. things that just recently happened is a new company came out, and I think it's called Class G, yeah, Class G Disc. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yeah. this company is going around, yeah, they're they're making false claims that you can control the airspace over your property, yes, and, yes, and yes. literally monetize your airspace and find drone operators for flying over. Yes, and and you could I, they could fly yeah. over, you could monitor everything that they're doing. And, yeah. and I think it's a crock of bull. I, I think they're trying to monetize on the fact Honestly, that people don't know what, <laughs> but you know, it is because they're going to make a lot of money, but the people that they're going to hit are victims that don't victims. know really what's going on. <laughs> to me, yeah. it's a scam because it's you're it's telling it's, people yeah. that you, over your backyard, this is, you own a certain amount of airspace over your backyard. First of all, that's wrong. To begin with, uh, okay. Anything over the height genius. of your gate, anything over the height of your gate, Herman, in your backyard, whether it be a six uh, foot fence or a five foot fence, you do not own the air above. So, so they start out uh -huh. by telling you you own the airspace over your property, and you can have us hook up I this device. How it works. Right, that have us hook up this device over your house in an antenna or so, you or whatever. <laughs> so you could say this drone passed here at two o'clock and the pilot is over at so-and-so area and it, it's it's a it's a sham yeah. right brian well it's it's not just mon monetizing it that way oh, right or man. monitoring but it's actually monetizing and it's saying we'll send out bills or uh -huh. or they fines do. to the operator for flying over that airspace and, and I They're think real. what's disgusting to me is the, the most mm -hmm. disgusting part is that the CEO of this company is has a speaking engagement, has been invited to AUVSI over in uh, uh, May uh -huh. in, in Denver. Uh -huh. AUVSI mm -hmm. is supposed to be the strongest ally really? of the drone uh, industry. They're out, mm -hmm. one, they're out helping with preemption. They're, they're lobbying for preemption in New York right now. Right. And yet here they've given yes, this guy yeah. a megaphone to talk his bullshit, right? And and really damage our industry. And, and that really ticks me off. They're playing uh, both sides of the fence. Yeah. Well, I think it's good to, well, you know it's good to challenge them. going to be speaking. It's good to challenge them. It, right, because who is he speaking to? He's going to be speaking to other people in the industry, right? He's so, gonna, yeah. He's, presumably, yeah. yeah. Yeah, presumably. Yeah. He, he is, it's all but, about counter UAS operations. And, 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 which, one of their events. But if this guy is led, if this guy is successful, like everything else that's stupid in the oh. world, it's going to catch on. Mm -hmm. If you know what I mean. There are a lot yeah. of stupid things that catch on in the world. Eating Tide Pods, detergent pods. Um, the cinnamon challenge, yeah. you know, so who's to stop me from incorporating um, Novice Quads LLC and I go around and tell and sell you your airspace over your backyard? Who says I can't now if this guy gets away with this? Right. You, you see what I'm saying? I, 
I've 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 been at the end. Is set up a, a, an antenna in everybody's I've, yard. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What were I've, you saying, Stephen? I've I've literally been at the at the receiving end of counter UAS before, so I I do know what it's like. I've mm-hmm. had, I've I've had it twice. Um, it's not a nice mm-hmm. thing, I have to say. And and when it happened to me, the first time it happened to me. It wasn't aimed at me, it was, or it wasn't aimed at our operations. It was aimed at other, you know, other drone operators mm-hmm. who were flying in the area, or someone who was flying a drone. We right. were just basically cannon fodder. We were just in the way. If you know, we were in the way of the radio frequency gotcha. and the and the GNS uh, frequency. Um, and I can tell you, it wasn't it wasn't a pleasant experience at all. I mean, I learned a lot from it. I, I've I can talk about being. I can talk about being jammed. <laughs> I, I I can you know I can talk for two hours about this and it would shake you to the bone. Uh, it's not a nice thing to happen at all, especially when you have permission to fly, especially when you have yeah. priority to fly, and right. you are at the end of it. It is not a nice thing at all. I have to say, and there's nothing. And there's nothing you can do once you're in. Once you're in that spectrum, that's it. Good night. Well, it's just sad to know that. Mm. There are charlatans out there that are, instead of helping the drone community, of course, there are charlatans out there that are trying to hurt the drone community. And this dude with this Class G airspace or whatever he wants to call it, someone Class needs to be, is, someone, well, it, right. everybody's someone, out there to make a dollar, though, Someone large. needs to tase his ass. Because, <laughs> and, I mean, and people are listening to this guy. And I, it's yeah. Steven. You may not know what's going on with this with this situation, but this guy <laughs> is trying to sell people their own airspace over their private property. Over now, the only place in the world house. that I know, yeah. the only place in the world that I know where airspace matters so far seems to be in certain parts of Asia because of the skyscrapers and they're building upwards and it, it's a whole property mm-hmm. issue thing there. But to tell someone that you can take your airspace and make money from it. If Steven, Ryan, and Herman fly their drone past your house two times, we will bill them for flying over your property. Do you know what I would do? I would actually buy that. I would buy property <laughs> at the end of GF, of, of GFP, runway 2L, and I would make a lot of money for every plane that passes over. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see him get the money from these fines to, to give it to them. That's like that's a big fail. I don't know what Lars, like I said, it's in But it's all for a dollar though, because you'll pay because for me to come to your house for him. and put an antenna on your roof. And you'll pay me to put an antenna on your roof and I'll put a little red light so you'll think it's working, bleeping, and you'll be paying to me that monthly fee. And I'll tell you, oh, this guy flew over, but he was legal. You can't touch him. That guy flew over, but we couldn't get the information. It was too fast. But you're paying that monthly fee. Oh, we're sending out a bill, but before we send out a bill, I want 20%. But just just like your cable, just like your cable, after you're not watching some of those stations, you you get rid of some of them. (laughs) (laughs) Trust me, it'll make money. It'll be turned off. People will... Will just, can yeah. I can I can I ask you? Um, so, what what is the company that you work for or you own? Sorry, because I because because uh, I actually I actually had this conversation today with one of my pilots, and I was telling him that you were coming on, and and uh, and I wasn't sure if this was something that you were doing. Ryan's on LinkedIn as, as well. I know that. I know. Yeah. Oh, okay. But is is this is this your day job now? No, you did it's not. Did. He actually, so, he actually dances in a ballet. Uh, right. You know, I'm just, <laughs> but that's, that was the first thing, thing that I said when he came in. Yeah. Yeah. So my day job, I am, I am an IT manager for the state of Michigan. So I direct a team of uh, uh, developers who develop applications for the state. Uh, but, you know, I, on the side, I am the director of regulatory affairs for the Great Lakes Drone Company. Um, and they started out kind of as a uh, company to do um, drone light shows. And they still do around the, the globe, even. They've done 
multiple shows and it's it's looking at the legalities of those those drones being in the sky uh but then we've spread out and now they are doing um first responders so we have a number of contracts with counties across michigan uh to provide drone services as as first responders um and then you know i I take my role in that and look at all the legislative happenings, whether it's at a state level or a national level, and try to insert myself to be able to make sure that I advocate for drones and I make it such that we can fly drones wherever we're going to be, um, you know, flying wherever wherever business needs. Right. Um, let me tell you about one thing that just has happened here in the last couple of days. Iowa. Um, Iowa had a bill that was put forward mm. that was talking about aerial trespass. And it was, it, it got so extreme where it was saying you cannot fly not just over a, a farm property to view animals, but you can't even launch from 400 feet outside that property. So if you were a neighbor to that farmland, if that 400 feet's in your backyard, that means little Johnny can't fly his drone. So that's a wow. real problem. And we sat mm-hmm. down with a, a lobbyist. Uh, we walk, worked through some language talking about uh, the importance of preemption. Um, we devised some, some language mm-hmm. that I think is really powerful uh, and, and could potentially be a first for Iowa in getting a, a bill in uh, passed at the legislature that helps protect farms, uh, farmers in terms of their right to privacy, uh, and yet still allows mm. drones to operate legally in the skies above them. Um, but yeah, just that's just happened in the last couple of days, and it's really important that Iowa gets this done. If it does happen, I think this is a bill that will again circle the nation and has some some key value into it that uh, could be important for everybody else. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. I didn't know that was a major Good. problem with farmers because I've seen where people have flown like over, pass over. I didn't know people were actually buzzing animals and on farms and well, stuff like that. Yeah. So I uh, kind of the first one that came out was in Texas. Uh, Texas put in a law <laughs> uh, immediately after a news journalist flew a drone over a farmland and he happened to see a mm-hmm. pink lake or a red lake. And he went, wait a minute, what is this? Well, it turned out that it was a hog slaughter farm. So that pink lake was, was blood. Wow. It wasn't water. Um, and that ended up in a lawsuit uh, where the National Press Photographers Association uh, took the uh, legislature to court over that law and said, hey, wait a minute. You cannot block First Amendment rights for us to photograph. Mm-hmm news stories, new mm-hmm. land that, that mm-hmm. is good news mm-hmm. stories. I think here in Iowa, what we're talking about is they're concerned that somebody might drop poison over seed, right? Oh, or, hey. or herd animals into a dangerous situation. Mm-hmm. And I can see that, you know, it's, yes. I think the, the interest here is that they went about things in a little bit shady type of manner. And we've mm-hmm. redirected to say, look at the intent. If the intent is such that it's wrong, then let's make sure that that's illegal. It's not mm. illegal to fly a drone, but it is illegal to intentionally hurt, harm an animal with right. a drone, right? So I, I think getting that language to go forward is is very important, and it could spread around the nation. Okay. Okay. Here's 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 the question for you, and and I, I've been wanting to ask you this for a while. And this pertains to the FAA. <laughs> I like the FAA. And, and I, I try to be their friend and I abide by their rules and everything. But do you think the FAA is slacking when it comes to drone laws and, and, and updating things that need to be done, like the aggravation law here in New York um, in general? Because I see other, I, I look at other drone, drone laws around the world. And, and what the EU is doing with their laws and what Asia is doing with their drone laws. And everybody's doing things to advance. And I just don't think the FAA is doing enough to advance in the technological world of drones and EV tolls and things like that, if that makes any sense. Yeah, you know, I have some of the same sentiment and then some of it I, I understand. So 
you know, working a lot with the FAA, I can tell you that they are, you know, plugging away as quickly as they can to try to keep up with drone technology and, and understand how they can, can best serve the drone community and drone industry. I, I think they're challenged to an extent by Congress because Congress, even if we look at the last, uh, uh, you know, 2018 uh, FMRA, mm -hmm. Congress put in a section that said sense of Congress. And boy, oh boy, did Congress really lay it on thick to say they did not like the drone industry. They did not like what they were seeing. They were concerned mm -hmm. about, uh, you know, manned aircraft interceptions or, or mid-air collisions. They were concerned about rogue operations. Right. And so you, know, you have the are. FAA thinking, okay, we want to do something, uh, but we want to make it reasonable. And you have Congress saying, you will do this. Uh, and so I think you have to balance those interests. Um, I do think what we've yeah. seen from the FAA lately is that they've started retracting a little bit. They've, they've started to understand, hey, drones aren't this evil, terrible thing that are going to kill everybody. Let's start to allow them to fly at night. Let's start them to allow to fly over people. And we're going to see more of that, right? That we're going to mm -hmm. start to see them open up the <clears throat> skies for beyond visual line of sight. <clears throat> and I, I think they're doing it in a very slow fashion, right? I, yeah. They're being overly conservative in my opinion <clears throat> i agree um but but we are starting to see it and so i think there's hope in that mm -hmm. it's just continued press to make sure that we do move in that fashion it's slow it's it's slow everywhere because mm -hmm. the industry is trying to move fast and the regulators can't keep up so they mm -hmm. don't have enough staff to deal with the daily issues that we have, and this goes back to me talking about what happened at Amsterdam Drone Week, is is that is that you have the you know you know we we had EASA, we had Euro Control there, and they don't know what we do every day. They have no clue. They they don't know what mm -hmm. we do and on a daily basis. If and 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 I, and I sat one of them down and I, and I was telling them what we do just. We are a very typical drone service provider. I don't think we're anything special. We're, we're a very, very typical company. We have a lot of work. We have a lot of pilots. But when I just inform them of what, let's say, I, you know, you know, a typical day or something that can go wrong and what we have to deal with, they, you know, they have their jaw on the floor, <laughs> and they're going, "I didn't know that," and and it's like you should know this. Why yeah, don't you yeah. know this? You have to right. know this. And this is this is my issue, is that there is a dislodge between the regulators and the operators. There's not enough discussion. There's not enough sitting There's down too much space and between learning. the regulators. I agree. There's too much space between the regulators and, and the people who fly because you have these symposiums every <laughs> year here in the United States. Ryan, you're familiar with them. Every year the FAA has symposiums. Mm -hmm. And this is the way of the FAA saying, this is what's coming. I used to think of it as a way of the FAA saying, this is what's about to happen. This is what we're trying to do. Now I know from seeing enough of them, they're telling you what's to come. And people will not sit there for six hours and listen to a guy talk about drone this, drone that, drone that. So it, it's it's mm -hmm. hard. It's you know, you know, yeah, I get what you're saying, Lawrence, but you see what talking, and I understand what, 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 what uh, Steve was saying, but when you put the two of them together, and, I, and this is what we're talking about the uh, beyond visual line of sight, I heard this years ago. And and yeah, I can understand we might think that the technology is moving so fast. It's moving fast in other areas, but when we start getting into something like beyond visual line of sight, maybe not so much. Because the biggest issue with beyond visual line of sight is the situational awareness. Mm -hmm. Now to the we talk about here a lot off the off the shelf drones. The situational awareness for beyond visual line of sight is not there for those drones. You know, well, we talk about other companies that are doing this now and have mm -hmm. got these waivers. They've right. met that criteria for that work, for that type of thing. You know, we we the censorings had to get better. 
I think one of the things in terms of situational awareness, right, is that you're you're looking at, hey, how can I visually be aware of the space? And Mm. the FAA is moving with the idea, you know, remote ID is one of the pieces, obviously, but I think the other piece is something that people haven't seen, and that's what NASA is developing, right, is the the, um, unmanned traffic monitoring, that that management system. Well, we speak that about it here system a lot. Comes into place, right? Nobody wants to hear about it, right? Right. Right. And now, this, for those, but, well, but, go but, ahead, Stephen. But but, 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 but this is exactly what I was just about to say: is that you have these new teams that are being developed, and there's many companies, not just NASA, but you have many, mm-hmm. many companies that are developing new teams. My issue is is that many of the regulators. And the FAA is included in this, as well as as well as the ASA. I cannot speak for what's happening in Asia, but I know that their laws are completely different, and they don't really care. However, <laughs> the regulators, the FAA, and the ASA, concentrated more. Let's get back to urban air mobility. They are cons- they, they are focused more on air taxis and how the airspace will be managed for them, and they're not thinking about what should we be doing today what should we be doing for the drone industry right now so they're trying to solve whatever problem might happen which again science fiction 20 years time right and they are not thinking that they and this is they have no clue what we do every day again i spoke with them a couple of weeks ago and 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 they're sitting there clueless you know i'm saying you know for us to get permissions to fly, it, we need to take thirty days, thirty-five days to do our, our you know, our drone light show here, right. here in France right now, where I am. Right, uh, most of the regulators will not even answer the email. They won't even pick up the phone. Now we yeah. are under the same law in Europe, but we have different countries. So you have Finland, where I am based. Right. You have Sweden. You have France, Italy. All those countries, they are not in alignment. Every one of them is different. Everyone different. has their own way to play ball. Mm-hmm. So we it's difficult. So it's difficult to do business. It's difficult to actually do those operations. These people don't care. And this is where it's really tough. So for us who are and we are a, a you know, we work internationally. So you know, we work all over the globe. It's very and we're spending more time doing clerical work than we are flying drones. Think about I believe that. it. I believe it. I believe it. And, and mm-hmm. it, it's it's sad, but eventually we will be all old men riding around in a floating wheelchair and, and they'll finally get their shit together. And they'll see, I told you, you know, everyone will say, we mentioned that years ago and your grandkids, <laughs> oh, grandpa don't know what he's talking about. He's babbling about them damn drones again. Yeah. You know, scams and all that other <laughs> nonsense. Yes, yes. Guys, but I'd also say um, think about it this way too that mm. we are in an age and time that things are going to be changing dramatically, right? Mm-hmm. So when we looked at yes, you know, when you go from fire to iron, right? That, that's a dramatic change or or we've gone into the oil. Now we're at a point where we're going from just computers to artificial intelligence. And we have a very re- real situation where most airplanes themselves you know passenger airplanes fly themselves during the main portion of the flight it's really the takeoff and landing that the manned operator gets involved and and is guiding things in but ai has come so far so fast there is a good chance that we aren't going to be flying these things yeah right? they are going to be flying what themselves to do. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll, Herman, we'll be yeah. thinking it what to do. Well, Herman and, and I, we were, joking, we were joking around on one live stream and we we're talking about how when old, when we're much older, you'll just be able to launch something and say, I want to fly in Paris today. And it's gone. And I want some shots of the Eiffel Tower. Poof, you got the shots and it's back, you know. But, it, <laughs> but, it, but it's got to say pro on it. Also. It's got to say pro, because if it doesn't say pro on it, <laughs> no pro one will buy it. Gonna buy it. No one from our age group will buy it. But listen, guys, unfortunately... But I got one other thing, though. Ryan, any news on 
Fort Hamilton or anything happening over there? We are getting close. I, I want to say June is when we uh, finally uh-huh. get past the uh, the two years. Mm-hmm. So there's a uh, what is it? Statue of limitations that lasts for two years. So if they don't do anything within that time period, then we're done. And now we're going to be chasing this thing in full. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, listen, guys. Unfortunately. We're out of time, but you we can't congratulations, stay Herman, on the 200th. Why can't we stay longer? Can, 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 you stay guys, longer. can you guys see the chat? I cannot. I can see the chat. You can't I can, see the chat? I can see, I can the, see chat. the chat. Yes. No, the I reason why I asked, I wanted you guys to pick somebody in the chat. I was going to send them a t-shirt. Oh, okay. Not okay. You, yeah. Lawrence. I was talking to Stephen and... and, and <laughs> 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 yeah, if you guys are still in the chat, whoever's still in the chat, do us a favor and put the number one in the chat, and these guys will pick one of you, someone, I guess, to give away a T-shirt to. Yeah, I mean, you can pick anybody and give a T-shirt to. If you can I, can, I, 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 I seen photos of Chris at the Florida meetup, and uh-huh. he looked like he needed a, a new T-shirt. He, he looked like he needed a new T-shirt, I have to say. Okay, Chris. Oh, <laughs> uh, Chris. Who's Chris? Who's Chris? Sunrise. Oh, Sunrise Water Media. Okay, okay. Sunrise Water. You just got a T-shirt. So you Sunrise just, Water. Media. If you go, <laughs> I seen photo. He looks like he did a T-shirt. Sorry, if you, sorry, sorry Chris. I'm sorry. If you go to the about <laughs> section on my on, on my my on my channel, hit me up with an email and let me know where to send the T-shirt to. Yes, yes. Sunrise, Sunrise Water Media just got a shirt courtesy of the flyby guys from those guys. Listen, we got to get out of here only because Mandalorian's on tonight. I have not <laughs> ordered dinner and 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 I got to get up at four in the morning to be somewhere to work. But I wanted to say thank you, Ryan. Thank oh, you, Stephen. Um, Stephen, especially with all of the, the, the help this week. Just to yes, you, Ryan, you. with all Ryan, with thank all of much. the um work that you do in the drone community, please don't ever stop because um okay. I don't you got a big pair of shoes to fill, dude. Well, if I, you I, see I, them I appreciate now. all of you. Ryan, Ryan, if you ever need any help going to argue these cases with these guys and in, in, in different city, Lawrence is right here. He can always go wherever you need him to go. Oh, gee. <laughs> and help you out, you know. Listen, whatever, I have, whatever I have, you need them, but we really, really appreciate you. I, I'm going to wait really for that uh, Amsterdam invite from Stephen, though. Oh, <laughs> well, actually, I've actually, yeah, I've, I've actually been invited. I've, I've actually been invited to Las Vegas this year. Hey, as there a, we go. As a speaker, <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been invited as a speaker and uh, when and a moderator. When. Uh, when which, is which it around CES? For? Is it around CES? No, CES was it's last, um, that was, was commercial. It's commercial UAV. Okay, well, you need that. You got. We got to touch base, Stephen. We need no, to know when you're coming I into the find states. That one that is. So I, I, I might meet you out there. Yeah, we would love to meet. We'd yes. love to go out. I've been trying to. Herman's been trying to get me to get on the West Coast for a while. Okay, they put a one in the room. But unfortunately, there's a delay because what? Marcel, <laughs> not Marcel, <laughs> Sunrise Water Media, he says he's hashtag rigged. He got a shirt and didn't even put a number. No, I'm playing. But Sunrise, hit up Herman in the About Me section. We got to get out of here, guys. It's past our time. There are other live streams on. Okay. And we need, we need to go by and support those channels as well. Unfortunately, Mandalorian is calling me in dinner. Okay. Well, like I said, I'd like to thank you guys for coming and hanging out with us. And you guys in the chat, thank you for coming and hanging out with us and sharing this information which you. I hope you guys may have learned something tonight. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I mean, hopefully you did. I learned something tonight. And um, hopefully you guys will be back on to hang out with us, you know, maybe on a future show. And with that, I guess that's a wrap. Good night. So, good night, everyone. Au revoir. Au revoir. Thank you. Thank and you. And don't forget, guys, Wednesday night with those guys is sponsored by 
Those, Those guys. 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 There we go. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.